One of the main challenges in sample preparation for transmission electron microscopy, TEM, is to produce electron transparent samples suitable for imaging. This video demonstrates how an ultra microtome is used to cut thin sections for TEM. Parts of the ultra microtome stereo zoom microscope, hand wheel, chuck, knife platform, electronic control panel. Facing up is a process of removing excess resin in front of the sample to expose the sample to the knife. Start up the microtome. Turn on both bottom and top lights. Secure a dry knife onto the knife stage. Tighten your sample block in the chuck and then secure the chuck into the arm. Unlock the knife stage, ensure that the block face is not positioned above the knife edge and slowly push it toward the block until the knife is around half a centimetre from the block. Then lock the stage in place. Increase magnification to ensure better judgement of distance and make sure that the knife and sample are in the same focal plane. For this, focus your view on the knife edge, not the block, and turn the hand wheel to have the sample in focus. The bottom light, reflecting off the knife onto the block, illuminates the block face. This reflection determines the distance and the angle of the knife relative to the block face. Using the coarse approach control, approach the knife toward the sample until the reflection is around an eighth of the block face size. Set the feed to semi-thins and step size to two micrometers. Manually turn the hand wheel clockwise. Keep sectioning until you have the desired amount of tissue exposed. Trimming is the process of removing excess resin surrounding the sample and sculpting the block face so that sections form a ribbon when coming off the knife. The block is then trimmed to a trapezoid shape with a razor blade for semi-thin sectioning. Insert the trimmed block in the arm. Secure in a boated knife. Coarsely approach the knife until the reflection appears on the block face. Adjusting the knife angle aligns the knife edge and the base, and adjusting the chuck rotation angle aligns the reflection. Align the knife and the block. The knife edge, the trapezoid base and the reflection should be parallel to each other. Slowly advance the knife using the coarse advance control while checking that the alignment is still correct. If not, adjust it. When a third of the reflection remains, approach using the fine approach in one micrometer increments until the reflection is just about to disappear. Fill up the knife boat with distilled water until the surface of the water presents a silver sheen. The water will support the sections as they come off the knife. Set the feed to half a micrometer and turn the hand wheel until sections are being cut. The section should be uniformly pink or green and free of knife marks. You may continue slowly cutting manually or set the microtome to cut automatically at a speed of 10 millimetres per second. They may then be picked up, stained and viewed under a light microscope. This allows quality judgement of the sample preparation and a general view of the sample. After viewing your sections on the light microscope and trimming the blockers required, the next step is to produce ultra-thin sections for TEM. Approach and align a boated knife as for semi-thin sectioning. Any sort of vibration during sectioning will produce artefacts in your sections. Setting a cutting window minimises air vibrations by slowing down the arm as the sample passes the knife. The start of the window is set around half a centimetre above the knife edge and the end just past the knife edge. Fill the knife boat with water. Set the feed to 70 nanometers and turn the hand wheel clockwise until the full face of the block is being cut. Set the cutting speed to one millimetre per second and then begin automatic cutting. 
the interference colour of a section indicates its thickness, good TEM sections should be uniformly gold or silver. Sections can now be collected onto a TEM grid, post-stained and viewed under the TEM.